माई नेम इज सुविज्ञ चंद्रा आई एम फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश आई हैव गिवन फोर्थ अटैम्प्ट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड आई हैव सिक्योर्ड रैंक थ्री नाइन फोर एंड आई आई एम फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स बैकग्राउंड एंड आई हैव टेकन मैथमेटिक्स एज ऑप्शनल एज वेल वी हैव रैंक थ्री नाइन्टी फोर so vigya chandra so first of all congratulations to you thank you uh, from our whole kz team so uh, we'll we'll discuss something uh, regarding mains since pt is over now everyone is matching with answer key and uh, speculating what would be the cut off and all so uh, what what would be your suggestion towards the students those who appeared prelims and waiting for the result and some student they they waste those valuable time कि कट ऑफ कितने जाएंगे और मेरे कितने आ रहे हैं तो वो जो प्रेसियस टाइम है इन बिटवीन द पी टी एग्जाम एंड द रिजल्ट उनके लिए आपका क्या लाइक मैसेज रहेगा कैलकुलेटिंग द मार्क्स वॉज अ वेरी सीरियस थिंग फॉर मी एंड वंस आई कैलकुलेटेड द मार्क्स देन आई वुड गेट एन आइडिया दैट वेयर डू आई स्टैंड एंड वेयर द कट ऑफ कैन बी एज पर दी प्रडिक्शन सो जस्ट आफ्टर चेकिंग दी मार्क्स आई I used to start preparing for my optional, which was mathematics. And this one month, till the results come out, I focus on that because that is the only subject that I can uh, study hassle-free and without any uh, pressure. So, okay. So, those who uh, those who have appeared prelims, so till the result, they can focus on the optional, whatever their optional would be. So they can focus on that and they can prepare uh, self on those optional and uh, more command over the optional, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, we are now in this phase of mains preparation, and uh, Sobik was a student of our mains dictionary program. So we we'll discuss uh, regarding that. So my my question uh, to you. Uh, sir please tell you tell us that uh, how you develop that content because a uh, mains has uh, two parts i mean one is content another one is answer writing so essay is one and another four gs paper how you develop that content or value addition you have made with your notes so uh, mains dictionary uh, was uh, was a course which actually uh, Uh, taught me how to uh, decode the mains paper and how to think that what are the topics which should be studied with greater depth and which topic should be left so that uh, we don't waste our time and we prepare the s- curriculum which is very vast in an efficient and time bound manner so for example me how mains dictionary helped me uh, in 2019 attempt i got 64 marks in gs2 and this year Uh, after studying in mains destiny i got 110 so it is a huge jump for me for a person who is from science background and uh, i didn't had so much interest in uh, studying the uh, parts which are uh, more towards the polity history geography and these are my weak areas uh, so yeah uh, some guidance uh, was needed and uh, ksg was the right place to go okay so uh, actually last time uh, the essay paper was quite uh, crucial for i mean most of the students because uh, what we have seen in the previous uh, papers that one part from the philosophical and another part of the essay uh, general the conventional one or which is known as the general studies based but last year we saw this drastic change i mean both the parts Uh, uh, uh have this uh, philosophical questions so how did you tackle that uh, so uh, uh, i had a certain base uh, from my 2019 and 2020 mains attempt so uh, i knew that how to think dimensions uh, in a particular topic so uh, just to make sure that uh, we we as aspirants uh, should not be scared from the philosophical topics these are just like any other gs topic that has to be tackled in a way that uh, it includes our thought process not just our uh, knowledge that we are gaining from newspapers and the standard textbooks and in this case uh, both philosophical essays can also be an opportunity and uh, uh, the faculty at ksg uh, in mains dictionary also took uh, a lot of classes uh, for uh, tackling how 
the philosophical essay especially and uh, i was ready and i was not surprised uh, when both the sections were demanding a philosophical essay i was ready for it okay so uh, did this general studies uh, like uh, what we generally uh, do we we collect some facts we we collect uh, figures from the survey or any report from the government that also we can use in this philosophical part of essay or how did you manage with that um uh, in philosophical essays also i used uh, the concepts that i would have used in uh, gs type of essay and uh, to substantiate the examples in every paragraph uh, my idea should be reflected there should be a proof that my idea ha- is having some existence in the real world and certain example uh, to back my uh, concept so these things uh, data facts figures even laws these are important and i think it uh, strengthens our argument okay so you uh, rightly said that in gs paper 2 you got uh, like uh, higher mark higher marks this time so it was the key in your selection so what about gs paper 3 how did you use those uh, like generally it is said that those budget and economics are where documents are crucial or you can quote those uh figure or statistics in the uh, paper 3 so how did you use those economic survey and budget uh honestly speaking uh, i have not uh, read the economic survey uh, but i have seen certain sections which is very important for quoting it as answer like how the economy is going on and how uh, what the uh, ministers uh, responsible for uh, financial matters are saying what the chief economic uh, Uh, chief econo- chief chief economic advisor is uh, telling so in those highlights also there are so many information that can guide us in answer writing so uh, those were my sources and uh, gs3 uh, my performance was uh, uh, kind of average but still i got an improvement of uh, around uh, half a dozen marks so anything even one mark improvement is very valuable for me so and that also uh, the course helped me okay so you prepared your own notes or you uh, totally relied on the coaching <coughs> materials or how did you do that i mean you prepared your own or what in the case of standard books uh, i didn't prepare any notes uh, but for uh, when i took classes uh, in mains destiner i i made notes i actually used to take double the time of uh, the class to make notes from that so if if a lecture is of 2 hours uh, if i start my timer so i would have completed it in 4 hours because i used to pause it and i used to note down each and every word that uh, the lecturer uh, is telling because uh, in a limited amount of time they are saying what aspirant actually wants and not uh, uh, we have to focus on that that the guidance they are giving it is our responsibility to take it and improve our performance so uh, this is one part that is content part uh, the the information we generally collect the other part is your answer writing generally students those who are going to appear this i mean this mains first time or those who are in first attempt they have this uh, like uh, lack of idea regarding this answer writing so what you suggest for the first timers those who are writing mains or th- those who are about to write mains at some point of time i uh, got an advice that uh, i should complete the paper in unlimited amount of time like uh, in 4 hours or 5 hours just to make sure that i i am able to express myself properly but uh, that that is something that should be done in like one or two weeks from after the prelims that's it after that each and every paper should be completed in a time bound manner in a 3 hour proper Uh, f- uh, format so that uh, we are trained for uh, giving the actual paper because when we are writing the paper in time limit then only our mistakes come out and then only a person can guide us uh, if some aspirant is writing paper in 5 hours definitely he'll get highest marks in test series but uh, we are actually fooling ourselves because the uh, mistakes that we would have uh, done Uh, the the lecturer or the paper checker cannot detect it because uh, the paper might be uh, like 
far superior than any candidate who is writing it in three hours. So that is the most important thing, completing the paper and attempting all the questions, especially in GS. Uh, one thing comes to my mind while interacting uh, with the students, they generally ask this question. Suppose in a uh, paper there are 20 questions and 16 questions we, we, we are able to answer. But those 3 or 4 questions we do not know anything about that or uh, there, are a I mean, there is a chance that 1 or 2 questions are there. We know nothing about it. So, what you suggest regarding this, like, uh, is it why? I mean, how to approach those those two questions, which we we do not uh, know anything about it. While preparing, we come across uh, every possible topic that is uh, that is being studied by humanity as a whole. So, in this case, we would be knowing something, at least something, not not about facts, but just the basic things. Like there was a question related to blue LED in uh, GS3. So although I knew the concept of blue LED, how it works because I am an electrical engineer, but the people might not be knowing. But the question was very simple. Uh, it, it talked about the Nobel Prize which was in 2014. Nobody would have expected that it would be asked in 2022. But after that, the second part of the question was very simple. It was talking about how it brought the changes in life so rather than fooling the paper checker we should write what we know and we should write it in points uh, so that is something that will give a paper checker clarity and if uh, the the paper checker is not annoyed i think he can uh, at least not cut marks uh, and at best uh, he may give uh, good marks as well that means wiser advice is not to skip any question Whatever you know, you just write, but don't bluff also. Okay. Yes. That is the key. Okay. Yes, yes. So coming to the test series part, like when you uh, started writing those answers or appearing, appearing those test series, before prelims you had practiced a lot or after prelims only, you started writing test series. My friends, uh, when, when I was uh, starting my preparation, <coughs> my friends advised me that I should start answer writing, but I was not so consistent and uh, prelims used to take a lot of time so uh, only the driving force in me was only after prelims uh, and that too after the uh, checking of marks uh, after coming out of the examination hall for prelims so after that also uh, till the results of prelims come i my answer writing uh, activity is close to nil because i used to focus on my mathematics uh, but uh, right from day one, uh, especially after prelims, uh, there should be some form of answer writing and the test series uh, are the best source to judge that where we stand. Just one advice from you for the students, how to use those uh, uh, test series, in fact those model answers, because uh, mostly test series are covered, to, I mean those news are there or which we feel though uh, uh, relevant for the mains. So how you use those model answers and how you, you added those uh, content from that? Uh, the model answers or the model solutions that uh, test series provides uh, is a great source to check whether we have first thing, first thing we have to see whether we have understood the question or not. And when we see the answer and if there is a divergence between our answer and the model answer then the first thing can be checked. So second thing is that uh, we should not uh, be scared from the length of the model answer. Uh, that is something that they have given a whole lot of pers perspective but a human mind is limited and we should respect that and in this case the best possible things that can be re recovered from our mind during the examination is what we have to write. We have to bring the best out of ourselves and in this case uh, even after giving the test series, uh, we can do one thing that uh, we should not wait for uh, the checked answer copies, but we can see the model solutions and we can check it ourselves, not giving marks, but seeing whether the facts and figures that has been mentioned are correct or not. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we have discussed uh, various aspects of 
whose mains uh, i mean uh, point of view and we discussed about the test series and all so uh, once again i i want to congratulate uh, mr savik for you. his success and all so with this uh, video we are also releasing the schedule of mains test scenario program which uh, we are about to start uh, soon so please go through that and uh, we'll uh, again if if time permits we'll again have uh, mr sobik with us thank you very much and thank, thank you thank you